Namaskar and welcome to this special program on Lok Sabha Television. Today we are in a very special conversation with the Honorable Speaker Lok Sabha, Srimati Meera Kumar, who is heading an Indian parliamentary delegation on a visit to Belarus. Welcome to Lok Sabha TV, ma'am. Thank you so much and my greetings to the viewers. Um, I would like to begin with asking you about a few details of the objective of this visit and the details of the delegation that is accompanying you. Yes, uh, this is a goodwill visit from one parliament to the other parliament that is, and it is on the invitation of the chairman of the House of Representatives of uh, the National Assembly of the Republic of Belarus. Okay. And I'm taking a delegation of two members from Rajya Sabha and four members from Lok Sabha. Basically, uh, we want to uh, strengthen the connect between the Parliament of Belarus and the Parliament of India. Uh, ever since the formation of uh, the Republic of Belarus, uh, there has been a commonality of uh, views between the two countries on major international, uh, multilateral and regional uh, issues. Okay and uh, also the cooperation uh, of uh, economic and uh, commerce uh, has uh, uh, increased over the years. So this visit is going to further add to the increasing uh, ties and the closeness and the bonding that has been there between the two countries. Okay. Ma'am, I'm sure our viewers would like to know that is this the first visit of a sort, meaning thereby, is this the first visit of an Indian parliamentary delegation to Belarus under this parliamentary exchange program? Uh, well, it is uh, the first delegation led by uh, the Speaker okay. to the, the Republic of Belarus. Earlier, uh, the Deputy Speaker of Lok Sabha mm -hmm. had visited Minsk capital of Belarus okay. and uh, uh, we have received two parliamentary delegations okay. from Belarus uh, in 2006 and 2002 and our, del our uh, deputy speaker had gone there in 2005. Okay. So uh, we've had in recent past uh, certain exchanges, yes okay. certainly. So there's already uh, quite a healthy exchange on between yes, both but the this countries. Is the First uh, parliamentary delegation led by the speaker. The speaker. Okay. Uh, once you reach there, ma'am, what will be on your agenda? Who will you be meeting? What are it, the activities? It is very, very uh, tight, and I'm very happy that we have been able to pack in so much because, as you know, it is a visit only for about two and a half days, and in two and a half days, I'll be meeting the president, I'll be going to the parliament, I'll be meeting the chairman of the House of Representatives, he'll show me around, I'll be addressing the, uh, the media. And then uh, a very important uh, event is, which is a milestone event, is signing of uh, an agreement of cooperation between the two parliaments. Okay. And then after that, uh, uh, I'll be meeting the Prime Minister and uh, thereafter I'm meeting the members of the Indian community okay. and uh, I'm also uh, going around and seeing their uh, library. Okay. It's a historic library, very rich. I'll just go and see uh, what, uh, how it compares so far as our Parliament library is concerned and what we have to exchange in uh, with respect to our experience in running the libraries. Okay. Uh, Ma'am, a parliamentary exchange is essentially a people-to-people -people contact between yes. two nations, yes. uh, a contact between peoples of two countries, between cultures of two countries. Do you see any similarities between the cultures of India and Belarus? What, what are the things that you'll be looking forward yes, to witness? Uh, you see, first of all, I'm really surprised and I'm very happy uh, that uh, there is tremendous interest in Indian culture in Belarus, mm -hmm. uh, in Indian classical music, in Indian classical dance, in Indian films which are very popular there okay. and uh, people want to learn Hindi. Okay. Uh, so there, uh, you know, so much of fascination for all this 
is indicative of the fact there there is commonality of views. Okay. Otherwise, they they wouldn't really be so interested okay. in our culture. And then uh, there is uh, a book written by Ki Tuvedas by in Russian by okay. Mikhail Mikhailov, and which has been translated into English. And then there is a translation of uh, the verses of Sant Kabir okay. by a lady called Taisa Bonda. Okay. And uh, that has been done in Russian. Okay. So uh, I, I'm mentioning this because it just shows the depth of interest that they have yeah. in Indian culture. Okay. And are you looking forward to uh, witnessing any of this firsthand? Uh, there is a cultural program. Okay. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what they are going to present. Okay. Uh, Ma'am, I'm also interested in knowing from you the details of the parliamentary cooperation that is being thought about between the two countries. Uh, are there any specifics on the agenda uh, as to what can the Indian Parliament uh, inspire the Belarusian Parliament and the other way around? Uh, yes. Uh, first of all, uh, the cooperation, the spirit of this cooperation that I'm going, we are going to sign jointly, the chairman of the House of Rep Representatives and me, is that uh, uh, we should increase the experience that we have in running parliament okay. and how uh, the, the secretariat of the two parliaments are operational, how they are functioning mm. and uh, how the parliamentary system as such uh, is being strengthened. Mm. And then, of course, uh, we have this uh, exchange of experiences that we have in legislative drafting okay. and in, uh, in international affairs. And then we also have uh, in this as a very important item is exchange mm. of parliamentary delegations right. uh, that uh, as that should be as frequent as possible okay. that uh, different levels okay. so this these are the salient features okay. of the cooperation that we are going to uh, the agreement that we are going to sign okay is some sort of a training and exchange program also on the cards yes uh, we uh, we always encourage it and we offer our services because we have a bureau of parliamentary studies and training which has sufficient uh, experience over the years of uh, giving training uh, to the officers of the parliament secretariat to the members of parliament uh, and whatever the specific requirements uh, of uh, training uh, those special modules are prepared by the BPST so certainly that of course is always on our agenda okay. and there is a new aspect to uh, parliamentary proceedings uh, worldwide, which a lot of parliaments have now begun showing interest in it, it's something which India has taken the lead in, mm -hmm. and that is the televising of parliament's proceedings, live mm -hmm. telecast. Mm -hmm. And you have yourself spoken in various countries about mm -hmm. how uh, the Indian parliament can share its experiences. Mm -hmm. Do you think Belarus might also show some interest in this area? Uh, well, uh, I would mention because uh, parliament is all about uh, people, their uh, uh, hopes, their aspirations, their problems, their anguish, difficulties, all are presented, all are reflected in the parliament and solutions are found, they are addressed uh, in the parliament. So people should always remain in touch with what is happening because their issues are being uh, discussed here and that is one of the reasons for uh, starting, which was started by my predecessor with mm -hmm. very thoughtful gesture and it has gained so much popularity because people think uh, this is their channel and through it they are coming to know what their representatives are doing for them in the house. So and this is what I think is basically uh, required everywhere, wherever there is a parliament. But so far as the uh, Parliament of Belarus is concerned, it has to be their decision actually.
Okay. Um, we uh, wish you all the best. We wish you have a very fruitful visit and this parliamentary uh, exchange between the two countries keeps growing. Thank you so much for speaking to Lutz. Thank Party you so much. Thank you.